the Mike Hosking Breakfast, six to nine weekdays on News Talks FB. You know, their small economics lesson in the dangers of making stuff up as you go along. Uh, as part of the new light rail system for Auckland, the government are going to potentially tax people close to the stations $1,000 a year. Uh, it is called value capture tax. It's an invented tax and is based on the premise that because you live close to a train station, you can use a train and the value of your house will go up and people will build things close by that you will also use. Now, the trouble with this is that that might be true, but then... It might not be. In other words, you might just be paying $1,000 for nothing. Tax on a promise or theory is very dangerous, of course. Income tax is only applied when you have actually earned some money. They don't say, hey, give us 39 cents and hopefully you can go out and earn a dollar. They take the money once the dollar's in. Public transport is as much about ideology as it is about reality. Of course, cycle lanes are the same as are the bus lanes. Planners of a certain persuasion love all of this stuff. But as COVID has taught us, once the offices sort of reopened again, buses never came back to what they were. Never came back. Trains certainly didn't come back, but the only thing that has bounced back to what it once was are roads. So you'd be better off taxing people who live near an on-ramp. Another great failing of the whole public transport obsession has been that it's based on the idea of Sydney or London or Paris or New York, forgetting, of course, that even Auckland at one and a half million isn't a fraction of what the world's major cities are, and therefore, as such, you're trying to be something you can never be. So as it turns out, I live near a railway station, I've never used it, never will. And whether we like it or not, public transport has never really been embraced by the masses. And because of that, you shouldn't be taxing people because of the so-called value. It's never been, it's never materialised. I mean, on a road toll, you're only told if you use the road, right? No road, no toll. Why then are you charged a capture tax if nothing's captured? A lot of water to go under the bridge, of course, and as I've said before, I doubt the specific light rail project we're talking about will ever actually get off the ground. But the red light here is not Auckland and light rail, forget that part. It's the concept of a new tax, and never underestimate the power of more free money for a politician. The Mike Hosking Breakfast, 6 to 9 weekdays on News Talks FB.